I try to drive the, uh, primarily all the time to make these horses hunt that cow. And uh, for different problems, like say your horse is laying up on there, a lot of times you'll step to the cow and then break really flat back off in here and, and have them thinking about getting away from a cow. Because basically you've got two problems on your horse. He's either getting too flat or too up into the cow if he's working properly. They're, they're the two things that you're going to get into. So, uh, like right here, I pulled him off that cow. If I'm just trying to drive and get him away from it so he, he's not flipping back in all the time, have him think about going flatter on, on, the, on the program and then draw and brag. Um, if you're just training a three-year-old, you'd just be driving like this, but you'll be staying on the line nice and square. Back up before you step to the cow all the time. So he's thinking draw and not running at the cow. Step up, try to make that horse affect that cow. Right there, he made the cow move. Here I'm just taking my cow side leg and pressing, and this is the result we're getting. He's, he's really wanting to turn around, and his nervous energy's going backwards instead of flipping across that cow when he's not supposed to. Now, all this type of control is all uh, got to be hooked to the cow. Everybody has a, has a different way of riding with their feet. You know, uh, I, I can teach this young man over here what I'm doing. He's going to make it a little bit different. I like to make stuff really simple on the horse. Um, uh, left turn is with your right foot right here, just like that. Right turn is just with your left foot. I want to make them go nose first. Right. Now, you'll say, okay, but you're holding your, your inside leg on here, not letting him turn around. What's making him not turn over here? That's making him not turn over here. I want that horse hooked to that cow and want